Nine places women desire to be touched. Touch is a powerful tool a guy can use to make a woman thrilled. But do you know which part of her body to touch? Making inappropriate touches can make her disgusted or even worse, grossed out. It's crucial to know the best places to touch a woman and how to touch them the right way. So make sure to not miss any place a woman wants to be touched. And by the end of this video, you'll be a touch master. Nine, her inner wrist. There are a lot of reasons to focus on the sweet spots of your partner and ditch the boring parts when having a sexy time. Exploring those sweet spots can bring a lot of fun and excitement in bed. It can also bring more playfulness into the sex life of the both of you. Turn her on by touching her in the most sensitive places, some of which you might not have heard about. One of those is her wrist, which is an unexplored erogenous zone. She's not used to being touched on her wrist, especially its inner parts. But did you know that it's one of the most exciting and sensitive parts of her that she wants to be touched? Why is this so? This part has a lot of nerve endings, so it can be stimulated, and that can arouse her more. Touch her right there, particularly at the pulse point. This part of her body is one that can start to become intimate easily when you're having sex. At first, you might want to touch her gently in there, so that she'll be able to realise and make sense that you're touching her inner wrist. Don't rush this moment though, but take your time and establish the mood. Make eye contact and be sensual by being gentle in touching this part of her. 8. Her neck snape. Kissing her in the neck is a sure way to stimulate her. She also wants her neck to be touched. A lot of women also rank the nape of their neck to be one of the erogenous parts besides their nipples and breasts. Want to turn her on? Kiss or brush the nape of her neck with your fingers. And if you want to take it to the next level, try combining the lips with the neck. The nape of the neck is a sexy place that you should not forget touching or kissing when making love to her. It is quite a turn on and she will find a lot of pleasure in the activity. This vulnerable area is one of the sweetest spots that you can try arousing during foreplay too. Typically, both the back and sides of the neck are very sensitive. However, there are women that like their neck along the collarbone to be touched. To give her more pleasure, try kissing her along the side of her neck and then go slowly to her ear. On the other hand, there are also women that want more intensity that they love when a man sucks their neck. This can cause hickeys though. That's why you better ask your partner before doing this. There are women that don't like those marks. Seven, her scalp. Women love their hair and scalp touched because it is soothing and relaxing. But in romance, this can be very stimulating. You should not ignore this erogenous part when making love. Massage her scalp and run your fingernails across her scalp. As her scalp is full of nerve endings, it is a very sensitive area to the touch, like when you're stroking or massaging it. If she likes it, you can also try tugging on her hair to turn her on more. You may also want to apply light scalp touches to stimulate and make her feel more relaxed. It is extremely erotic and soothing to be touched in the scalp, so don't miss this out. For more tips, you can grab a handful of her hair in the base of the neck or close to the scalp area to stimulate and arouse the sensitive scalp nerves and then try tightening your grip. Do not pull her hair from the ends because it can be painful. But then, this pain can be quite a turn on because this sensation can help in releasing brain endorphins, giving her a sense of both pleasure and well-being. You might also want to try playing with her buns or ponytails if her hair is longer. Or you can run your fingers through her scalp if her hair is shorter, and then try pulling it gently using your fingers. Watch out for her reaction. Nevertheless, this is one of the most sensitive places you can touch a woman in bed. Her scalp is more than just for her crowning glory because it is also filled with nerve endings. Try massaging it to release some feel-good hormones and make her feel calm while also improving the sexual pleasure she's feeling. 6. Her labia. You might find it hard to miss her labia, but most of the time you might have been ignoring it. You should not go for the clitoris immediately, but you should also try to play and touch her labia to further stimulate her mind and make her get more pleasure from sex. Some men tend to rush things and proceed to the clitoris, 
and they overlook the importance of the labia when it comes to arousal. Before you go for the clitoris, you should tease the labia to increase her arousal and excitement in bed. Try slowly sliding your fingers from the top to the bottom of her labia, but without parting the lips. Slide your fingers in it up and down gently and sensually. Try increasing the pressure until your finger slips inside. More pressure, more pleasure in this case, do you agree? But again, don't rush it and take your time. Start slowly and gently. Turn her on and make her ask for more. 5. Her buttocks. Its close proximity to the female genitalia makes it one of the most interesting, erogenous parts of a woman where she wants to be touched. It has a lot of erogenous potential to turn her on enough. To make touching this part more effective, you might want to ask her whether she'd like it hard or soft. Particularly, the underside of her butt is another sensitive area of her not to overlook. This is a nerve-rich area that you can stimulate in the foreplay stage. Do not dive straight for her clitoris for an oral, but try playing with her inner butt too. Try tracing your finger along it, or maybe give her some licks or kisses in this part before working your way to her vulva. Don't overlook this sensitive part of her and you'll be rewarded. You'll make her more satisfied, which in turn will also make you satisfied. So make your sex life more pleasurable by not missing this part and the rest that we've shared here. 4. Behind her knees. The soft spot in this area is nerve rich, but it is not often touched. You should not overlook this part in the foreplay stage to arouse and stimulate her. She wants to be touched in this area only that she might not be telling you. Try touching the back of her knees and slowly go up to her thighs. This is intimate and she will surely love it. And taking this route, you will get closer to her genitalia. Another tip to touch this area is to touch her behind her knees while standing in front of you. You can also try massaging them in this part and try applying a deep pressure in it. To make things more exciting, you can alternate between deep pressure and a tickle. Alternatively, you can use a tiny pinwheel, which is specifically designed for sex play, and then drag it into this area to stimulate her. Go from the back of the knee to the common erogenous zones. Take it slow and be gentle to build up the anticipation. If you don't have a pinwheel, using a tickler or ice cube will also do the trick. 3. Her earlobes. Surprisingly, her earlobes are the sexiest parts of her ears, and you should not overlook this sensitive area when touching and having intimate moments with her. To arouse this area and bring out its erotic potential, slowly tickle the edge of her ears with your fingers. Her ears are a sensitive place to touch when making love, and they're more than for a talk. Also stimulate her ears through biting, stroking, licking and caressing. Play with her ears for a more pleasurable experience and an elevated sexual energy running throughout her body. You can gently caress her ears using your fingers, and then when you are starting to build up the excitement, you can use your lips or your tongue too. For some people, they do it by going straight for a tongue in ear. If you plan to do this, you might want to talk about it first. But nevertheless, don't forget her earlobes when thinking about sweet spots where your girl can be stimulated. 2. Her feet. There are more than 7,000 nerve endings in a foot, making it one of the best spots to touch during foreplay and intercourse. A huge part of the sensory nerves in a human brain are on the feet. Unfortunately, not a lot of men focus on this area when trying to please her woman in bed. Don't miss this part, but try stimulating her to get a high level of physiological response throughout her body, as the act will stimulate her sensory cortex. For some women, they like to be touched in their feet, and they can be further stimulated by their partner licking or sucking it. The feet are a sensitive area that she wants to be touched. For them, sucking or licking it, for instance, is a great turn on and a way of arousal in bed. To stimulate this area, you might want to pinch, lick or suck her toes to start building the excitement. Try to do it gently and slowly to build up sexual anticipation. In case you don't know yet, an act of sucking her toe is as arousing as giving her an oral sex. But then, this should not be mistaken as her being a foot fetishist. Foot fetish is about being attracted to the feet of other people, and it is not about having their feet touched. Nevertheless, 
The feet are one of the less obvious spots where a woman wants to be touched and stimulated. Don't miss out on it and make your woman want more. 1. Her underboobs. Her cleavage may be one of the stars of her body where she's licked, pinched and sucked during sexual encounters a lot. However, her cleavage is not her only turn-on spot. Another area which is often left unnoticed is her underboobs. But in case you don't know yet, this part is one of the most amazing parts of her body where she wants to be stimulated. She will appreciate and feel really amazing if you would lick this part in a circular motion or a long stroke. If you don't know too, the skin in this area is very sensitive, while also being responsive to any stimulation. This part of her body, nevertheless, is one of the most sensitive of all, so you should not overlook it when making love. If you liked today's video, be sure to give it a like and subscribe for more content like this.